Okay, continuing on with chapter 1, 1 1.5. These are combination problems. Uh, exercises 1D, page 10. Alright, so how do we deal with these? Well, we have to remember that the rules are different for addition and subtraction versus multiplication and division. And every time you do an addition and subtraction in this class, you must line up the decimal places and draw the lines. So how do we go about handling combination problems with both addition and subtraction and multiplication division? Well, the procedure goes simple. Do the math, get the raw value first. Then go back and find the number of sig figs within the parentheses of the problem and then determine the final answer significant figures. Basically, you're following the three rules that we've learned already for addition subtraction, multiplication and division, and determining the number of sig figs in any measured number. So, as usual, easier to do problems than to talk about them, so let's go. First problem, 17.390 minus 9.39 parentheses, divided by 8 plus 97.413. What's the answer? What's the answer with the right number of sig figs? How many people have already decided that there's one sig fig in your answer? Because if you have, you're in trouble. Because that's not how we have to do this. The first thing to do is punch in your calculator and get the raw value. Make sure that you know how to do this in your calculator correctly. 17.39 minus 9.39 equals, divided by parentheses, 8 plus 97.413, close parentheses, equals. This is what my calculator says. Zero point zero seven five eight nine one nine six eight. Hopefully that's what your calculator says too. So now you have to try to decide how many sig figs are actually in your answer. Well, how do we go about doing that? Well, go back to the problem and figure out how many sig figs are in each of these individual calculations within the parentheses. And remember, Every time you have an addition subtraction, you have to line up the decimal places and draw the line to the least number of places past the decimal point. You punch that, minus that in the calculator, and this is what you'll get. And that's all you'll get. But you have to know more. You have to know that this number is three places past, this number is two places past, this is telling you that the answer has to be two places past the decimal point because this is three place and two past. So the least is two past or three sig figs in this part. Now we're going to divide by this number. How many sig figs is in that number? Well, the only way you figure it out is by lining up the decimal places and drawing the line to the least number of places past calculation here gives you that value. Where are we drawing the line? This is known to the ones place. This is known to the thousands thousandths place. So the answer is going to be the least carefully measured. These are a bunch of X's out here. We don't know what those are, but we know these guys for sure. So that answer has three sig figs as well. Okay? So if we have a number with three divided by a number with three, guess what? That answer has three sig figs. So which are the three sig figs here? One, two, three, right? So these are the correctly determined sig figs. Does that number round up? It does. Final answer, 0 0.0759. Now, just a quick point to rounding. If we just took 8 times 105 and you did an early rounding, I'm sorry, that should be 8 divided by 105. 
0.5. You know what you'd get? Zero point oh seven six two. A different value. This has early rounding errors. Because you forgot about this, you didn't pay any attention to it, but those numbers are better calculated and then determine sig figs at the end. So determine sig figs at the end. Don't early round. It'll get you into trouble. That's something you talked about in class, and we'll talk about it some more. Okay, let's try a different problem. 5 plus 8 times 1.001 .01 minus 0 0.971. If you think there's one sig fig, you better think again, because 5 plus 8 times 1.001 .001 minus 0.971 has a raw value, raw calculation of 0 0.39. Hmm, how many sig figs is that? Well, you got to go back. 5 plus 8. I know you want to say that's one sig fig, but 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're drawing the line there. This number has two sig figs. What about 1.001 .001 minus 0 0.971? 1.001 minus 0.971. 0 0.030. Your calculator only gave you that. You have to draw the line there, don't you? Because this is three places past. This is three places past. The answer is three places past. So this number has how many sig figs in it? Two. So, none of these number have two significant figures in any of them. And yet, 2 times 2, the answer is 2. And guess what? This time, your calculator was right. Your calculator gave you the exact right answer. Do you know how many times that's going to happen? Just often enough for you to probably start to trust your calculator. But you can't because you're the one who has to know the sig figs rules, not your calculator. Okay? So, that's how you go about doing these problems. The practice problems for you to try it to get better at it is exercise 1D. And here's a few extra problems for you. 8.8 .8 minus 0 0.80. See if you get that value. 8.8 .8 times 0 0.80. Basically, I switch signs here. See if you get that one. If you're getting this, that's great. But remember, you have to determine the right number of sig figs. Just getting these raw calculator values isn't good enough. All right, have at it. Good luck.